In this video, we're gonna be taking a detailed look at the Boundary Supply Aegis Duffel Pack. Head on over to packhacker.com for more information and best buying options, link in the description below. So overall, this is just a really nice sized duffel and it does have the multiple carry options, which we do like to see. Uh, so let's just jump right in. On the outside here, we have a 500D Kodra nylon. Uh, this has a DWR coating. Uh, so it'll make it a little more water resistant, obviously not quite waterproof, but if you're running from the uh, bus stop or something to your Airbnb in the rain, it should be just fine. Um, we got nice YKK zippers here, real, you can see how big and thick they are. And uh, you know, they also have like a little bit of the waterproofness to them or water resistance, I should say. Um, so that does make it a little bit sticky here. They're not the smooth, as smooth as they could be. Uh, but if you get stuck in a downpour, um, you'll be glad you got those. Um, starting with the carry modes here, we have just nice hand carry here. These uh, little padded straps, as you can see, they're kind of folded over here, doubled up with padding in the middle. Uh, not super thick, but the padding's pretty dense, so even if this is really packed out, it should be a comfortable carry. And then underneath here, we have backpack straps here. So these just have a sleeve that they kind of roll into here. Uh, so we pull those out, and these just attach at the bottom here with these uh, Duraflex keepers here. So clip those on, clip that tight. Uh, these can be a little tricky just because there's so much tension there. Uh, so that's good because that keeps it tight, but it can be a little tricky to get on. So we'll throw the other one here. And just same sort of thing. Again, pretty tight there. Throw it on and snap it closed. Now, so this is now your backpack and this is your back panel. So the, uh, the zipper might be a little bit noticeable there, just right in your back. But one thing that we do like about this is uh, some, some of these hybrid duffel bags uh, this strap just kind of like floats around and you, when you're putting it on, you can like accidentally loop your arm through this loop as well. And so what they do here is they give you a nice little magnetic closure so you can tuck it in here and that closes with a magnet here and here. And so that just keeps it nice and out of the way and you don't have to worry about getting your arm stuck in it, uh, which is a lot easier to do than you'd think. Uh, so now it's in backpack mode we got this nice thick uh, backpack straps here. Um, they're a little stiff, but uh, it's dense padding, so it should make for a nice comfortable carry. Um, so we'll just leave those off to the side for now. Um, starting on the front here, we kind of have this extra little pocket thing. Um, this is really just attached with this loop, and that's really about it. Uh, so if you take this Fidlock buckle off here, this just completely detaches. Um, it's a nice little add-on. Um, it doesn't really get in the way because there's not a pocket here. This is like really designed to add this on here. Uh, so it's a nice little feature if you want to make this like a little quick grab thing. You can put your tech stuff in here, I suppose. Um, but this just also has little magnetic buckles here. And so this is it fully expanded. And you also have a Velcro closure here. And this is just a little, you know, little side pouch here. Um, you just gotta make sure when you hook it on, you get it through the loops and everything. Um, otherwise it can fall off if it's just through this middle part. Uh, you'd be tempted to just quick throw it through there, but make sure you have it attached at, um, through the loops because otherwise it can just slide out there um, especially if it's loaded up with gear uh, it can slide out even easier than that so just make sure you attach it correctly with the loops here and you shouldn't have that problem uh, we're just going to leave this off to the side for now and then so going through on this side we have these uh 
compression straps here if you need to strap anything to the outside. Uh, if this is a gym bag, you know, a good spot for a yoga mat there. Or, you know, if you want to throw a tripod in there if you're into camera stuff. Um, you know, obviously, whatever you need. These just tighten up here. And you're good to go. And opposite side of that, we have this uh, nice little pocket here. This one is more of your, your quick grab item type situation. Um, if we can get open, it's kind of hard to see. But there are two smaller mesh kind of divider uh, pockets in here. So you got that nice mesh, very soft. Um, so this is a good spot for phone, wallet, keys. Uh, you can actually get through with Boundary Supply. They have a key clip that attaches with magnets here. Uh, it's a super cool feature. Definitely check it out if you are interested in this duffel. But it just attaches with a magnet right there. And then when you need it, they can just pull right out instead of being more uh, like permanently attached. Uh, it makes them harder to get access to. So we like the quick key access there. Um, and then also actually going back to the other side here, we have a kind of unique pocket designed here for the outside of a duffel. Um, this is not attached with the zipper. It's just the one fastener there. So I would not put anything too important in here as it really could fall out quite easily, especially if you are vertical in backpack mode. Uh, this is just gonna fall right out. Um, but if you are carrying it by the hand carry, uh, it could be something you can utilize, but again, just don't put anything too important in there. It could fall out. The bottom of this pocket also has a zipper to do kind of like a luggage pass-through type situation. So if you want to throw this on a you know, smaller piece of rolling luggage, um, you have that option. So we're gonna zip that back up. And then the last exterior pocket on the opposite side. So again, we had the pouch on this side, flip it around to the other side, same sort of fidlock compression system there. Uh, you have a shoe compartment here. So this is like nice, uh, more waterproof material. So you can throw your you know, dirty shoes in here without worrying about them uh, ruining the rest of the, the stuff in your bag. Or this is always a great spot if you don't carry shoes to put dirty laundry. Uh, just to kind of keep everything separated and not get the rest of your bag dirty there. Um, but it does, you can kind of compress all this extra stuff just in the side here uh, if you don't want to use that pocket and it'll just stay out of the way of everything else in the middle. So again, we can clip this on and you can you know, tighten or loosen this as needed to just kind of keep everything nice and compressed. Uh, we're gonna open up the middle here. In the middle, you just have this nice big open compartment. As you can see, the, uh, the straps are kind of limiting how far it opens. So again, that's great. If you don't have a lot of stuff in here, you can really compress it, keep it tight. But uh, let's loosen this up so we can see the full dimension of the bag here. There we go. And so now we can really pull these sides up here. Um, you kind of just have a giant space in the middle here. Uh, nothing really to get in your way. Just load up with whatever you want. Uh, they do have a, another attachment point here for other boundary supply uh, accessories. Um, so definitely, if you are interested in getting involved in the boundary supply ecosystem, they got a lot of great uh, accessories to attach to these different magnetic points here. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And then here you can see this is the shoe compartment. So if we did have shoes in here, you can see this can take up quite a bit of the inside of this bag here. Uh, but if we don't want shoes, we don't carry shoes, you just kind of fold it up. And there is a little magnetic buckle here. You can compress that down. And the bottom of the shoe compartment kind of has the same material as the bottom of the bag. So it really creates a nice like wall there. It compresses really nicely. A uh, lot better than a lot of compressible shoe compartments we've seen. Just really stays out of the way and doesn't get into the space if you need it. But overall, yeah, we've been really liking this duffel. Uh, just really solid size, really solid materials, and uh, not a whole lot to complain about at the moment. 
So there you have it, our rundown of the Boundary Supply Aegis Duffel Pack. Make sure to check out our main channel to see more gear, travel tips, and tricks. We'll see you in the next video.